Welcome back to the channel where we explore the creative uses of AI. Now, I know you know about ChatGPT. Not everybody does, but I know you do. You wouldn't be watching this if you didn't. And if you do, then you probably know about the new GPT store where companies and individuals and anybody who just wants to can create their own GPT specialized to do a particular thing. And there's a ton out there, and I encourage you to check them out and play with them. But I want to call attention to two in particular, which I think are appropriate for the creative AI space. They utilize Dolly 3 and they create some amazing results and it doesn't require any special software or installation to create these types of images. So let's take a look at it. Now one caveat is you do need to have a paid plan for ChatGPT or GPT-4 to access these GPTs and utilize this functionality. So assuming you do, here's how to find what we're looking for. Once you log into chat, along the left, you're gonna find Explore GPTs. And that is something I encourage you to do. But we're going to go straight to the Dolly section and we're going to look at Super Describe and we're going to look at Image Edit, Copying and Merge. So what does Super Describe do? You upload an image, it takes a look at it and says, hmm, let me re-describe what I'm seeing here, but in a really cool way. Okay, so here's how it works. You simply upload an image and hit go. To send an image up there, you can just click on the paper clip and choose an image and that will do it. Or you can just take an image from any directory and just drag it onto the interface and that will upload it too. In this case, let's have it re-describe this dog picture. I'm just gonna drag it in there, let it upload, and it starts creating the image. If you're new to this, expect about 30 seconds or so sometimes. It can go a little longer, but it's not gonna take you five minutes. Okay, check it out. So it looked at this picture and it saw a dog wearing whatever this is, and it said, I think that's a bandana and I get it. It's a dog. It's on a rainy street. The, we got the blurred background and everything. People walking around. Let's take a look. This is a really nice sharp image with a lot of detail. Let's do another one. So let's take this oddly illustrated picture of this sort of goth looking girl against a wall and see how it re-describes that. Okay, so an entirely different take, but describing the same image. You can see exactly what it described by clicking the little eye up here. I won't read this whole thing to you, but it's obviously a very thorough description based on that original image. Let's do one more before I show you the other GPT. Okay, I'm gonna take this black and white image of a robot. I have no idea what it's going to do with this. Okay, that's super cool. I mean, that, I love that. That is such a cool take on the original. Added all this fun action, was true to the style, that's, I like it. Okay, so that's super describe, and you can eat up hours of your life doing this, and let's not do that right now. So let's go back to Explore GPT, and the next one we're going to do, and navigate back to it, is the Image Edit, Copying, and Merge. There's a lot of tools out there that will blend two images together in various ways, taking a concept of this one and the concept of that one and merging it together to create a new image. And that's what we're doing here, only you don't have to install any weird interface. You don't have to understand Discord or type anything oddly into Midjourney. There's no complication. You simply upload the images you want to blend here and it'll take care of the rest. And it does such a great job. I can't wait to show you. Here we go. So I want to do the beach and the mushroom. I'm going to just drag both of those in there the upload and I'm gonna hit go. That's it, I don't have to do anything else. What's really cool about this too is the resolution of the images don't really matter that much because it's taking the concept of what you've sent up there. It's looking at it and saying, oh, okay, you want a mushroom on a beach and the mushroom looks something like this, but it's not looking at the resolution. So if you've got an image that illustrates the concept you want to blend in with another image, that's all you need. Ah, that's so nice. Now look, it kept true to the essence of this original mushroom and even the colors and the, oh, I love it. I just, words, I cannot. All right, let's do some more. How about these flowers and this goth girl? And by the way, you'll notice this URL here. It says, please consider following this GPT creator for more AI stuff. And I'm gonna recommend you do that because they did a great job here, as you will see. Well, in this case, I have to admit disappointment. This is, bad. come on, they should know better than that. I want those blended together. I'm going to try something. I have no idea if this will work. I'm going to say, try again, but blend the two image scenarios together instead of creating two different scenes. 
I don't know. It might work. They really are nice images though. Just for grins, I downloaded that one. I had no idea it was this high resolution. I mean, look at that. That's really nice. Okay, that's cool, but it's sideways, guys. Let me download it and flip it. There we go. Let me get it to 100%. Okay. That's better. And it followed my instructions. It said, oh, I see what you mean. You want me to blend them. Yeah, I want you to blend them. And they did that. I love it. Now, I have to warn you, this is a highly addictive one. And before you know it, chat's going to tell you, hey, 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 whoa, slow down. You're going to have to wait until some time in the future because you're out of inquiries right now. So just be aware of what you're doing. Meanwhile, let's go back into it some more. I'm going to take the ocean wave and this room. Are we going to flood the room? I don't know. Will there be a room underwater? Will there be furniture flying? In a way? I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, that's, I'm so happy. We got to look at it big. 100% look. Oh man, I want to send that into an animation process so bad right now, but I will resist the urge. I want to see, can you do another variation in landscape mode? just a bit more water in it. You gotta ask for what you want. Look right here, it's great. That's, uh, see, this is, I'm gonna do more. I know I already did one with the mushroom, but I knew I was gonna reuse it. How about the shark and the mushroom on the beach? That's right, you can send more than two as well. So now that I know I can tweak the results with prompts, oh man, that just blows the doors off of even what I was showing it the first time. I mean, I thought it was kind of like this random, here's what you get, but then it was like, well, why would that be? This is chat, it's AI, it knows how to do stuff. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I can't even. Come on, right? You are racing to get this. There's no way you're not racing to get this. If you're not racing to get this, I'm like, why are you watching this channel? I'm sorry, I sometimes forget I'm a 58 year old man. I'm not done yet. I can't be done. I want the wave. I want flowers. I want that robot. I want to see what the black and white influence does. I'm going to stick with those three for right now. Oh, I'm telling you, I need these animated. I can't resist the urge. I'm going to copy this into the clipboard. And I'm going to go back to the other GPT, the super describe, and it'll give me a variation. I'm just going to paste this in there and I'm going to hit go and let's see what it comes up with in terms of a variation. I love that. Now I'm going to ask this one if it can just give me two more variations. It's not exactly the same style, but it's going to work for me. This was supposed to be a shorter video, but I, I can't stop. Okay. I want at least one more because I am going to throw this into my animator and do a four image animation. Okay. Awesome. So now I need to download these. Okay. Let's go back to the blend and indulge me for just one more. I'm going to take these women, the shark, a mushroom, the dog and this guy. Let's just throw them all in there and see if it works. Okay, a lot going on there. So we've got the dog, we've got the shark, mushroom and a cyborg guy. Let's see what we can find here. First of all, the image is great. It's just a fun, interesting image to me anyway. And it has the mushroom feel here. We have a, a humanoid creature. We have cyber elements. We have a dog, we have a shark. So let's just for fun say, do that again, but put more assist on the mud and shark. Okay, well, it put basically only the emphasis on the mushroom and shark. So, but clearly it would respond to my prompt. I just need to be a bit more specific. So anyway, I hope you see why I'm so excited about those two. They're fun and the quality is really good in my opinion. So if you're interested in these creative GPTs and you'd like me to explore more, or if you know of some and you'd like me to highlight them, let me know in the comments because these things are fun to find. And there are a lot of them that are kind of the same, but these two really stood out for me in their utilization of Dolly 3. I think these images are great.
If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...